Hello everyone, this is Joker Shadow and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with new mission, Operation Eagle Claw. Uh, it happens in Persian Gulf map and we are going to attack the southern part of Iran. Uh, as you can see, we're going to get inside there and go to the enrichment facility. The whole situation starts from Iran developing some nuclear weapons. They're n testing nuclear warheads. So they're developing these weapons in this enrichment facility and uh, it's in Tangedelan or Mosgan. And uh, well, the US military decided to uh, give a good reaction to this Iranian nuclear adventure. So we are equipped with GBU-31s. Uh, you are going to attack with those bombs. You are going to deliver them to the targets. Um, as you can see, there is an early warning uh, SAM system over here. And the ghost uh, group, they are tasked with uh, doing the wild weasel and destroying that early warning, then they will give us the cue, which is lights out. And we are over here, we are going to fly from Al Minad Air Base. And uh, we are tasked with destroying that facility, as I mentioned. So over here, you are going to fly from this part and we're going to enter from waypoint number three and we have to fly low below 800 feet and deliver our bombs to our targets which your target as a single player it is uh, 11 and 12. Also uh, there is a general visiting this facility uh, so that it's going to help us with the SAM systems they're not in full alert also there are some dispatch uh, ready if we cross the limit, they will spawn and they will hunt us. Also, there is a carrier battle group over here. And uh, this carrier battle group is going to be attacked with these uh, silkworm missiles and those uh, speed boats. So that's the whole mission. Uh, also, I forgot that uh, F-14 is going to attack this uh, place as soon as they receive the order. Hello and welcome to the mission. Uh, before flying I like to turn on these lights, cabin lights, because it's in the evening and when we are coming back we, it would be dark, so I don't like to do it when we are coming back. Change the map to HST to L16 and after that I like to go to AG mode and power on the JDAMs so they get aligned. Also I like to change the impact angle to 80 degrees and everything else looks good. Let's swap it and change it to HST. Now I have HST on my right and the bombs, the SMS page on the left when I press air to ground mode. Mm. No, no master arms. The steering into pilot. Uh, brakes on. Cat three mode semi and the helmet on. RWR on. The radio is on. I like to reduce these sound alerts, the volume, and turn on the ECM, put it in one mode, and change the external lights as you like. So, I like to change the low altitude to 150 because we are going to do a low altitude bombing over here, and it's going to kill us with 
low altitude warnings and pull up warnings like that let's go to list and six everything looks good we can request for taxi I think Chevy one one request taxi to runway Here we go. Nice and easy. Moving a little bit fast, I think. I don't like this space between me and my wingman. Uh, let's go a little bit slower so I can catch up. to continue taxiing to a little bit further so my wingman can get aligned with the runway and he doesn't waste the time to take off and to do the takeoff and catching up with me and getting information everything looks good and clean Such lovely sunset and ghosts are out. They are heading to do the wild weasel operation. They're going to make Iranian Sam Network confused so we can sneak inside. As you can see my wingman started to take off with me. That would that will help him with his fuel management because as you know wingmans and AI is not really fuel efficient. They used almost two times more. And since we are born, yes, the wingman is following. You can see him though. There. And as you can see, I have penetration JDAMs. The penetration JDAMs. Uh, why penetration JDAMs? Because I'm going to hit the hardened targets. We are going to make sure nothing survives even under the facilities, the enrichment facilities. Iran is notoriously famous for burying it, their nuclear capabilities under the ground. So we are going to make sure nothing survives from this bomb run. And There was a little bit drift, so 
So I centered my pad. Or peach index, what you call it. So uh, the Iranian early radar is looking at me. I'm still in Emirates airspace. So no worries. Let's turn off our radar. And yes, Ghost One just did a magnum. And. So we got the code of lights out, means we can proceed to sneak inside Iranian air, airspace. So I don't need to go to waypoint one, two, I can directly jump to waypoint three. And it's a really long way, I'm going to cut that part. So let's watch some beautiful flying stuff I forgot to mention that I have to reduce my altitude as soon as I get inside Iranian uh, airspace actually before getting inside Iranian airspace so my mark is the waypoint 2 and I'm going to reduce right now reducing my altitude below 800 feet AGL Actually, it's really easy while you are flying on the water, uh, on top of water. So uh, I think it's a good practice. You can do this while you are... You are closing to hostile okay. airspace. Lights are out. Proceed to target by descending below 800 feet AGL and keep low altitude. So I got the warning. And as we're saying, uh, you can practice it over here and then when you enter the uh, Iranian airspace especially the land uh, everything gets harder so let's skip forward a little bit actually let's uh, yeah so we are now in Iranian airspace actually we are on mainland we are flying over their southern deserts. Fortunately, there are lots of mountain range. And uh, these mountain ranges in front of me, they really totally block their SAMs. You can see in HSD, there are lots of SAMs here. I like to change my dark flight mode to whatever I like, just in case. Wow, I'm flying really low. Oops. Just for a second I thought I hit the ground. So this is one of the... This is actually the first challenge. Uh, you have to cross this valley without being seen. So I'm going to use this small gap in these mountains. Actually, there's a power line crossing from here. It's my queue. Here we are. Good turn. Again, 
some plane. And as you can see, there's another mountain range uh, up there. Those mountain ranges are really good for this mission. We are flying over some civilian places, maybe cities or villages, I'm not sure. Okay, the name is Jenna. Okay. Though I'm not sure if it's a village or a city. It looks like a village. Another one. And I'm not sure if they're wondering who we are, what are we doing. Most of the people, they just see you and they even wave. So we are going to do a high G turn over here, 6G maybe. Yeah, even more. 7G. So I think my wingman left behind. <laughs> yeah, it was a hard maneuver for AI to go. Yeah, he is. Come on, catch up, man. Okay, this is the second challenge because you have to cross these again power lines and this bridge. What I do, I just put my airplane nose over this road and Altitude. do the Altitude. turn. So I make sure I'm not getting high so enemy defense can see me before reaching the target. Altitude. Altitude. So, uh, I'm going to call my wingman to perform his task at waypoint 7. And from waypoint 7, I will follow to waypoint 8. And from there, I'm going to climb a little bit to 2000 or something around that AGL. Uh, over there, after waypoint 8, it's too late for the enemy going to see me. My bombs are already on top of their heads. So, yep. And also, uh, in the mission briefing, uh, the facility's air defense is offline due to a high-ranking general visit from the facility. So, uh, they're not really famous for their precision, so I think it was the best option to just turn off the air defense for the visit and then turn it on back after the after they leave. So we are using this gap, this mom, momentary gap uh, to sneak, but as soon as they can hear us or see us, they're going to get back online. So this is the story. Uh, the air defense would get online as soon as they can see you no matter how how uh, high or low you are flying while you are Altitude. inside that zone Altitude. so yeah mm, i'm making sure i'm Altitude. still Altitude. below oh my god i'm a little bit too below 800 feet <laughs> so yeah that's waypoint eight all i have to do is to get there and then i can do whatever i want and release my bombs and my wing oh, yeah. please proceed with Uh, I think all 
over the hill or... Oh, oh. I think I missed... Yes. Because I'm left. Uh, okay, no problem. I have to... I can climb more. I can climb. And let's change my steering point to my targets. And face to the targets. Where are they? They're there. Okay, let's level airplane. And wait. So... Bombs away, bombs away. And let's get out of here. Altitude, altitude. On target. Why are you not Counter. Pull up. Pull up. Okay. And we are on the A2 down mode. Great. So, look at my art. It's a war. from this valley. Wow. Woo! <laughs> and here we go. Let's do the RTB. We did the job. Eagle one, be advised. Enemy is alerted. SAMs got activated and fighters scrambled. Egress Iranian airspace ASAP and RTB. So, uh, after you did the bomb run, a couple of things happen. First, uh, as soon as you send the victory signal, the unicorn, the code, uh, the battle group up. starts to shoot cruise missiles to the facility to clear everything left behind. And also, some of these uh, airplanes, they will scramble. So, four groups will spawn. And that's it. You have to run or you have to shoot them down. I think the best choice is to run. So let's eject our fuel tanks. They're empty. So, now we are more agile, let's ask our teammate to do RTB, please RTB. stay staying around that facility, I hope RTB. he doesn't get shot. I think he didn't deliver his bombs. And that's my problem with the AI. I don't know how to make them to do this delivery. Please, if you know, leave it in the comments. It doesn't work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And it makes me crazy. So if you know any way, please don't, for, don't hesitate to write it in the comments. I read all comments. And actually that helps me to promote my channel and get more viewers, get more people from the community and so I can learn a lot. 
that's really nice of you if you can like this video and subscribe my channel if you like the content and also leave your comments okay uh, we just jumped a little bit in time uh, we are heading back to our air base uh, Oh, meanwhile, um, the RGC started their response to our attack. So the response includes a uh, bunch of Scott missiles, a bunch of ballistic missiles heading to US spaces. For instance, the base I flew from. And also there are going to be some Missiles, Silkworm missiles heading to the battle group, the carrier battle group, and some fast boats, as they do always, the RGC, heading to the battle group. So they're responding to our attack by attacking to our uh, battle group, the carrier battle group. I hope they can, they don't get ca any casualties. Uh, I'm thinking of making this mission a little bit bigger. So that's why I put these aftermath stuff. Maybe, uh, okay, as you can see, yes, these are the silkworms heading to the battle. Okay, they're already, Shooting those missiles down. Oh God, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. So yeah, we can expand this mission. With F-18s, with more stuff. So yeah, they'll shoot, shoot them down. Wonderful. So let's make sure we are heading right to the airbase. We are doing the RTB. No one is following us. And uh, look at the CVS. <laughs> okay, the threat is so close that they're using the CVS. Oh my god. <laughs> look at that. I really like to watch that part, but I have an airplane to land. But autopilot will going to help me. Chevy one one inbound. Chevy one one. So the airport should be somewhere around there, but I can't see it yet. Uh, maybe that's the airport. Not sure. Chevy 1-1, one, one, Magic 1-1, one, one, Bra 297, Fork 170, at 21,000, cold. Uh, okay, let's look some beauty. Oh, oh, look at those scuds! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> That's definitely a saturation attack. Well, they are heading to the airport that I'm supposed to land. Guns, guns. Well done. So, I hope 
our Patriot system can shoot those down and don't get overwhelmed during the altitude. Altitude. intercepting those Scud missiles. I hope I can land, I can perform the landing, <laughs> and after that, whatever happens, happens. Chevy 1-1, Magic 1-1, Bra 299 for 160 at 35,000 knots. Okay. Uh, I can't see... enemy missiles so I wish I could change the options here but Altitude. for now Altitude. so the Patriots are just dead ahead if they shoot you may see if they don't uh, I think we are going to see the results <laughs> Approaching the runway nice and easy. There is a little bit crosswind, uh, but nothing that I can't handle. So aligning myself with the runway and 10 miles, 10 nautical miles away from the runway. Uh, I'm not totally aligned. Okay, let's go to list and number six so I can see the true heading. The runway is the runway heading is 27, which indicates 270 degrees. And there we go. And so, if you don't know, now you, now you know. You can find the true heading uh, without doing any calculation by pressing six, by pressing list, and then number six. Chevy As you can one, see, one. Request landing. Just. Beside ground speed, you can see the true heading. And as you can see, it's different from the magnetic heading, which is 268, but we have 270 over here. Oops. Okay. Trying to. Aim for the beginning of the runway. Oh, look at those. Oh, oh, look at those Patriots. Ah, uh, they're shooting. They're shooting at the Scott, Lund the Scott missiles. Okay, they're shooting. Wow. Wow, look at that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so apparently we can land uh, I hope they I'm not sure if that much missile is enough so. okay there was an explosion Uh, I got carried away <laughs> with the Siles and Patriot system, uh, so I did a shitty landing, <laughs> so I'm putting a reply over here, uh, so I can enjoy at least the Patriot response to the, the Siles. And we are slowing down, I did, as I mentioned, I did a shitty landing. Uh, I'm not really proud of that landing, so yeah, don't judge me. But at least my I'm landed in one piece. It was a really bad landing. <laughs> it bounced back from the wrong way. It was so close that I destroyed this airplane. So Area. 
we are heading to our parking spot which is parking number five it's the last uh, bunker or hangar something like that at the end of the runway I'm going to go there and as soon as I can show you the parking place I'm going to uh, do a fast forward and end the mission I hope you like the mission I hope you like my videos you can download the mission uh, from link I think it takes 24 hours uh, for the mission to get validated by Eagle Dynamics but any can, anyway you can just be patient if the video comes first uh, wait and okay no more scuds apparently they destroyed all of them oh my god just well there was two Patriots okay so as you can see this is the last hangar from first row hangar number five you can easily find it on the map and as soon as you get inside you will see this message and if you have done your task you get congratulations and victory and if you didn't you'll get a red won the game so yeah that was the mission i hope you liked it i hope you enjoy it i hope uh some of you download it and play it i'm totally open to your comments and your opinions about my how i fly how i make my videos uh, how my sunlight and how my missions even uh look like if there are some mistakes please write it i i just started this game i'm playing this game for almost from now it's one and a half month so yeah thank you again uh, if you like this hit the subscribe button don't forget